what type of home ownership do you have? Are you a homeowner or renter? Owner. Owner, okay. And could you tell me a little bit about the type of structure you own? Uh, it's a two-story uh, historic home. Uh, it's, uh, geez, 4,200 square feet. Okay. Single family? Yes. Single family. All right. And outside, is that? Uh, the bottom part is brick and the top part is uh, wood. Okay. And approximately what date did you move into this house? Uh, 2016. Okay. Have you always lived in the Thompson McDuffie area? No. Okay. How did you end up in our community? Um, found a really neat home and decided to move down uh, to get out of the weather up north. Okay, so came for the climate. Very good. That's really interesting. Um, so have you ever used rooftop solar for your home, looked into it, or? No. Okay. Would you, um, if you do not have rooftop solar, would you ever consider that as an option for your home? I don't know if I'd consider rooftop solar. I might consider putting solar out in the uh, uh, yard or something like that. Uh, again, being an older home, I don't know if I want to uh, risk leaks and things like that of a solar unit on top of the house. Very good. So more um, aesthetics and just function then, but not opposed to the solar power. No, I'm not opposed to the solar power at all. It's just the idea that, uh, again, uh, we have a lot of trees around the house and things like that that uh, I don't think the solar would be as effective as it would be if I put it out uh, in the yard or that. Okay. That makes total sense to me. All right. Not thinking so much of your own home, but just solar power in general. Um, I'm going to show you a map of the United States, and could you mark on there where you think that um, rooftop solar adoption is more popular? Uh, it can be a wide area. Yeah, any way you want to mark it. All right, very good. So you've got the whole southern United States. Is there a reason why you've chosen that area? Uh, I'm from the northern part uh, of Ohio. Uh, it was always pretty cloudy up there. So uh, I'm looking more at the idea that I think uh, there's a lot more solar uh, aspect in the southern part of the United States. Okay, makes sense to me. And then looking more at our own state, which was in your circle, Georgia, is there a certain area of Georgia that you feel like rooftop solar is more prevalent? I uh, really don't know because I would think any part in Georgia would be pretty good as far as solar power. Okay. So geographically, it's good. Is there a certain type of person that would be more likely to adopt rooftop solar or? Not, you know, it, it's kind of hard to tell. Uh, I would think it would be uh, more of the rural aspects of using rooftop solar than some of the uh, city aspects just for, again, that aesthetic thing. You know, I don't want to look my next door neighbor and have this huge mm -hmm. solar thing on top of their roof. All right. Very interesting. Um, how about your close friends? Do you know anybody in Georgia that does have solar on their roof? No, I don't. Okay. Why do you think that we don't know anybody? Because I don't either. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's been that popular yet. Uh, we see solar fields uh, with uh, some of the villages and some of the cities have them. But I don't see it that much as for individuals. I don't know. Uh, I've never looked into the expense of it as to whether it's, you know, a payback sort of thing or not. And uh, I guess every time I hit the light switch, it works. So I'm pretty happy that way, too. Yeah. If we're not having a problem, we don't always seek another source of options.